Okay, as you can see right here, I have just purchased um, and entered a position here long at 1543.25. Um, now this is a very aggressive trade and the reason that this trade was taken is that um, we had a major support down here at uh, 41, let me just grab that exact price, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, 41.75. So major support in our uh, work, and I'll just draw a line right here so you can see it. Uh, 41.75 right here. 41.75. Okay, so there's 41.75 right there. So um, the fact that the market came down here and um, went ahead and um, uh, actually. Um, <coughs> dip below there with a level 3 selling bar uh, did not have any follow through at least initially um, and then took out the high of this bar uh, went ahead and went long right there one tick above it uh, as you can see uh, we're long right now at 1543.25 so I would consider this a pretty aggressive trade um, it's obviously the market has been selling off today um, uh, the overnight Let's see here. What was the overnight high? Uh, 1570. Um, and then in the regular trading hours here, <coughs> we have had a high. At, uh, I think it's around 50. Let's see here. Yeah, right about 58, 5850. 50. Uh, so uh, and that was right. Uh, really early in the, well that was the first uh, right at the beginning of the day 5875 is the high uh, so we've come all the way down here and we just dipped below that uh, 4175 we've actually hit a low so far at 4025 so <coughs> I would consider this a very aggressive trade um, I would not have, not have gotten long at uh, 4175 because obviously the selling is so strong um, <clears throat> and what I am going to do, um, if the market does uh, take out the low here of where this little consolidation took place, I'm going to go ahead and place my stop. So 43 and a quarter, I'm going to go ahead and place my stop at 41 and a quarter. Order pending. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So um, if, if this does not hold and the market does sell off, um, uh, Let's see, 41 and a quarter. Yeah, we'll just leave it there for the time being. So, as I said, this is a pretty darn aggressive trade because uh, if the market does hold below this uh, 41 and a quarter, um, uh, 41.75 actually, if I got, got my prices right, um, that's that's going to actually shift our interday bias to down. So this is really a key level right here at uh, 4175 so uh, we want to uh, really you know keep our eye on this uh, because if it doesn't hold then we're gonna have to look out below because we could very well get a, a lot more um, you know, selling coming in so we'll just uh, leave the stop there we got a two-point stop and I think for the first objective on this we uh, uh, I need to put an order in I'm going to yeah, that first level that we have up here um, in this area up in here is around 45.50 so I'm going to put uh, a sell limit in there um, on this first objective at uh, let's see f I'll, I'm going to do a point and a half so 43 and a quarter that would take me to 44.75 so I will sell one half of my position at 44.75 order pending okay so that that's going to be our first objective so <clears throat> the reason I'm I'm prepared to take this risk on this trade is that um, uh, I really think there's great potential in this trade um, if this 4175 does hold this market could very well turn around <clears throat> and have a very strong rally um, from the from this level so um, 
the, the fact that I'm, I've gone ahead and put a sell limit in there at 4475, I'm, I'm, that, that's kind of a conservative thing to do. But because this trade is is pretty darn aggressive in the sense that I'm, you know, I'm you know, day has obviously been controlled at least so far by you know pretty strong selling. I'm really going against the grain here. So I want to go ahead <coughs> and um, kind of take my trade to sort of a, a break-even scenario here um, fairly soon. So it's kind of because it's a riskier trade. I'm I'm, I'm not just going to let the market just kind of. Uh, you know, do what it wants to do. I'm actually going to go ahead. Well, I'm always going to let it do what it's going to do, but um, I wouldn't always put in a first objective of about a point and a half. Uh, I'm doing it today for, for those reasons I just stated. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can get here. The uh, uh, the kind of volume that we're getting in the market today is, is fairly strong. So that's, that's another sign that this... Uh, you know, the selling pressure that we got here is, is fairly good. So I would like to see it bounce off of this, you know, uh, fairly quickly. Um, and, you know, we've been in the trade now for, well, let's see, we, we actually got in here at this, on this bar here at 13 after, and now it's 20 after. So I, I usually like to see my first objective get hit in about 10 minutes. Uh, and if it doesn't, then, you know, quite often I will make some sort of adjustment. Um, but at any rate, we'll just uh, we'll watch this for the, for another uh, couple of minutes or so here, and see if we can reach that first objective. Okay, so we've got we're getting okay. We come within a tick of it, so another tick, and we got our uh, first objective hit. So okay, it's hit the first objective uh, plus point and a half. We've got a, a nice green buying bar here. So I'm going to have to uh, uh, make an adjustment here on my own stop. Now that it's moved uh, a point and a half in my favor. Order uh, filled. I'm going to go, okay, it got filled on that, so that's good. Uh, so I'm going to go put this at break even. And, of course, the other thing I need to do is, because uh, uh, we've only got four contracts left, so I'm going to go ahead and place a stop there. I'm not, so I'm fairly aggressive on my stop here, too. That's at break even, uh, because when a market comes down and hits a, a good, strong barrier like that, um, you want to see it move away from there fairly quickly, get rejected, as it did with that uh, level three selling bar. So, um, but if it doesn't continue here, I, I, you know, I don't want to give a lot of it back. I mean, I really do expect this thing. If, if these buyers really um, are worth their salt, sort of thing, um, they're going to come in here and continue to move this market up, uh, quite possibly for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to um, uh, keep monitoring this. Uh, and uh, you know, kind of see how we do. So, um, yeah, we've been into the trade for, I guess, around uh, what is it? We got in at uh, yeah, 13, and now it's just almost 10 minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead, uh, and we've got our break-even stop in there. Notice, by the way, notice that our break-even stop here at 43.25 is two ticks below the low of this uh, level three buying bar. Let's make a notation of this one here, a level three buying bar. So that this is a fairly important bar. Um, and then it, the very next bar has come up um, and given us a, a deceleration. And now the high of that bar has been taken out. So we do have some pretty good buying in here right now. Um, how long is going to last? I don't know. I, I Obviously, our next objective would be up into this area, up in here with this next barrier. So I think what I will do is I'll go ahead uh, and I'll use that as my second objective. So the market last time when it when it got up, there's a level three selling bar right here. This one right here, and it's also tucked inside a high velocity move. Uh, the market did not get up to the top of it initially. Uh, it got up to um, 47.75. So I think what I will do here um, as a second objective. Um, is to go ahead and ex exit one fourth of the position, um, just a couple ticks below there at uh, 47 and a quarter, um, and that'll give us. Oops, put in that uh, sell limit here. Order pending. Bring that down into 47 and a quarter, so that'll give us a four point gain on the um, uh, one fourth of the position, because um, it could very well get up into that area and kind of. Uh, you know, sort of top out and then, then perhaps come on in a bit. So let's go ahead and uh, 
Uh, we've got that objective in there of a, uh, of a four point gain on the, on the second, uh, was our second objective. So, uh, and we do have, of course, our break even stop in here for right now. So, um, we'll just, um, I've been into this uh, video here for about 10 minutes. I'll trade uh, about 11 minutes, something like that. So let's go ahead and um, um, I'm going to pause the video right now and uh, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, restart the, uh, the uh, recording of this trade uh, as the market dictates. Okay, I've restarted the video here. You can see that the market, uh, I stopped it you know, about five minutes or so ago. You can see the market did have a bit of a dip after that. It came down here and hit uh, 44.75. Obviously, it kept us in because our stops at break even right here at 43.25. So we'll see if we can uh, get, get up here another couple of ticks that uh, uh, we just came within a couple ticks of our um, second objective there at 47.25. Okay, within a tick of it, so it looks like it's it's moving up. So um, let's see if we can get filled on the second objective here at uh, 47.25. So just let it run, you know, a couple more minutes here and see if we can get a little bit of a bounce. Looks like it's uh, market's fairly strong uh, off of that low, so that's a good sign. Now this little dip that just came in here. Um, I like to use these uh, as reference areas um, within the context of, of the trade um, and and, can, and will often use them to go ahead and uh, make adjustments on the stop. Um, so I would, a lot of times I would come up and, and just place my stop um, a couple of ticks below the low of that dip uh, when in a long trade like this. I think in this occasion, um, the market here, okay, well, a little bit of uh, selling pressure here, but um, now if I were to do that, um, the low on that dip here, as you can see, at uh, 44.75. So if I put it in at uh, 44.25, I would salvage at least one point on these other four contracts. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and, and just to kind of play it safe, I mean, that's, uh, uh, I, I do prefer to have my stop down here um, and the potential of this trade. So it's a, sort of a, a tough decision for me right now because, you know, if this market really is going to turn here at this support area, uh, it could very well come down and trade towards the low of this high velocity move. You can see this blue area in here. Uh, top of it is up here at around uh, 45.75 and the low of it down here at 43.25 which is right at our entry. So I, I think what I will do here because this, uh, when, when you get um, a selling level 3 on the low of the day, the market turns around and forms a buying high velocity move. That's pretty darn bullish and uh, so I, rather than adjust the stop and, and kind of get nicked out for just a point, um, I've got to balance that off with, well, do I want to you know, take a point uh, minimum sort of thing on the second half of the position, or am I going to give the market a little bit more room to move because I think the opportunity sort of calls for that, um, calls for it in the sense that um, because the opportunity is, is such that you know, this market could, uh, you know, in theory, certainly rally for the rest of the day. Now, if I think that's a real possibility, then, you know, obviously I don't want to get stopped out with just uh, one point on the final partial. Uh, you know, I want to see this thing, you know, you know, potentially move right back up to the high of the day, perhaps at 58, uh, which would give me a, you know, really nice day position trade. So. Um, now I've already made um, a point and a half on four contracts, so you know at least I've, I've banked something here. So I think weighing off, uh, weighing the, the different um, opportunities here, i.e., do I want to just salvage a point, uh, worst case scenario on the second half, or do I think the opportunity is is good enough to say, okay, I'm I'm willing to forego a point on these four contracts, put in the break-even stop because I think the opportunity is, is pretty darn good and therefore I want to let the market run. Um, 
I, that that's more what I'm leaning uh, on to right now and just use that uh, uh, 4725 it's it's unfortunate it came up just kind of maybe I just trying to squeeze a little too much out of that although I did have a couple of ticks below that that known barrier there at 4775 but I think what I'll do for now is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, leave the um, uh, break even stop in there well I would have been stopped out at a point there just at the 4425 so I'm just going to leave this stop in there at 44 uh, 4325 and um, you know, if, if I get break even on the uh, second half of the position, so be it. Uh, I've already made some profit on this trade. So um, we'll just, uh, I think we'll just leave uh, the uh, the orders in the way that we are and uh, see how things develop. And I'll put the uh, video on pause, the recording on pause, and we'll get back to it here uh, as the market dictates. Okay, just restarted the video. As you can see, the market did come down, stop me a break even on the final uh, or the second half of the position. So obviously, I'm going to cancel this. Order trade. canceled. Um, and this particular trade netted a uh, point and a half, uh, just half the position, which is four contracts. Um, and we did not, it, it may still just come down here and touch on here and give a nice rally. That is certainly a possibility. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, however, I would suggest, though, if the market were to come down uh, and take out this 4175 again, uh, that's that's uh, got some weight on there, and we could very well see some some more follow through to the downside. So, anyway, that's uh, uh, that's this trade for today. So, a point and a half on the uh, half a position on that trade. Thanks for watching. By the way, this was um, just so you know the date today. And it's, this is uh, Wednesday. Um, April 17th, 2013, and thanks for watching.